Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more F1 22 and another part of our My Team Career Mode with Braun GP. Today we are back with the Italian Grand Prix. We have had two incredible races in a row. Uh, a second, uh, sorry, a third place and then a fourth place. Uh, when we've reached the checkered flag, we have finished in the points pretty much every race this season. Um, you know, I, I haven't done anything with the difficulty. The difficulty is still at what it was, if we have a little look. Um, it is on 92. We are going to bump that up a little bit today uh, to 95 and uh, head towards 100. You know, I think that's got to be the target this year. But uh, nice to know the Italian Grand Prix is actually on my birthday this year, 8th of September. So remember that one, folks, when you're uh, sending out your cards and all of that. But um, yes, we have had two developments fail. So we are going to have to pop them back through the system. Um, the engine distribution cover, that is a big upgrade. Should be ready just after Monza. Um, bit of a shame that we don't get that straight away. Uh, same with the crankshaft, that's a, a decent upgrade to the engine. We'll take us back ahead of Ferrari once again. Uh, will only be available after Monza. But uh, with the pace that we're showing at the moment, it's you know pretty good. Um, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Can we get another? No, fabric. Well, is it fabrication? So maybe we can get another chassis upgrade. Um, we've got that one in there. And we can get one more. So. Roll dampeners. So let's just have a little look at this. That one's going to be much better. And we'll actually you know take us well into the midfield and again that should be something done by Singapore so we could really have a, a decent upgrade in in store um, for Singapore next time out but we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed with that lots of upgrades in the pipeline um, and looking forward to it so fingers crossed we can we can go and do it uh, we'll put in our best possible engine which I think is probably the one that we've got in already I believe it is for the Monza weekend, it's always uh, an exciting Grand Prix, uh, one that I'm hoping we will perform very, very well at. Um, you know, I've traditionally done very, very well there in the past on uh, previous games, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's head back to that gearbox. There's no penalty for doing that. Got plenty of components in the bag. Shouldn't really need to take another one before the end of the season. Let's uh, pop in another. Uh, yeah, let's do it for Nico and head forward. Some later I know we're done. expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. So there you go. That is a huge upgrade that we are going to make very very soon should take us right up uh into the the mix with mclaren um alpha Haas. you know it should really be the step forward that we're looking for to go into the, the start of next season with really that's where i want to be pitching it starting in the midfield and, and pushing back towards the top three and that's uh, that's our target by the end of next season at least and then hoping for a championship push in season three i think that's got to be the target so yeah let's uh, get into monza Well, let's take you on a lap of Monza then. We came through the first chicane pretty unscathed. Pace is, is feeling good, but I think the step up in difficulty might mean that we struggle to get out of Q1 this weekend. Which is good. You know, this is what we want. We want a bit more of a challenge. We shouldn't be nearly winning a race at this stage. see a long way 
of three tenths of a second off 19th place, oh sorry, 18th place Lance Stroll. Now I'm hoping in the final sector we'll definitely have a little bit more pace because of our straight line speed benefits. But here we come up to the line. What's it going to be our first qualifying lap? Oh, only 20 seconds, five tenths off the pace. That's not good. Well, it's an improvement, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough to get through. We come over the line and it is 20 second place. So, not good enough from us this weekend. You know, I mean, I don't know where the, the time was really. I think perhaps another two and a half tenths, perhaps. But uh, the Mercedes cars are quickest in Q1, 19.3 for them. We go out with a 20.7, so I'm not really in the, the, the league that we needed to be in to get through. So it's going to be a long race tomorrow. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again here at the beloved and iconic Autodroma Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. With top speeds reaching 250 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest track in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Sir Lewis Hamilton and Perez, Norris, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher and Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Sonoda, Sebastian Vettel and Joe, Latifi, Hulkenberg, Esteban Ocon, and Alex Alban. Gasly, Ricardo, Stroll, and the captain. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's discuss Red Bull. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. OK, here we are down on the track then. Uh, we are going to be going softs and then mediums. Uh, I did forget to switch it back to 50% races, which I'm gutted about because uh, I did think we could do something... Uh, pretty good if we were in a 50% race but it is what it is we've just got to go out there and uh, try our very very best so let's get into the race here we go then the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race which team will come out on top who's got their strategies right for today's race oh, we'll see. So only the George Russell has chosen the mediums. So we're lining up in last position. Obviously the target is points, but uh, that might be a struggle today. But we will see. We'll obviously try our best. We'll try and jockey for position going into turn one try and stay out of trouble though that's got to be the plan here we go ready for the lights it's lights out away we go here in italy it's an excellent start off the grid for us can we manage to get into the slipstream of ricardo straight away not quite and uh well lance stroll covers off the inside line but uh we managed to Make some good positions up and go around the outside of Nico Hulkenberg, but he'll get a better exit. But we're up to 18th as it stands. That is something we'll settle for. We've got Esteban Ocon around the outside here. Is he going to 
risk it. Well, Nico Hulkenberg goes defensive down the inside, slight lock up, and we squeeze him out and we're through. So up to 17th right, as it stands, that is exactly what we wanted, but we cannot afford to drop off the back of the guys in front. We've got to get on the back of them, get in that one second window and be part of this DRS train. Lots of side-by-side -side action up ahead. Surely there's going to be some incidents. The only incident that we got is a, a warning for track limits. And here comes Lance Stroll. We're going to cover over to the outside. Should be able to hold them off fairly easily, but we go a little deep. That's going to compromise our exit out of the final corner. And some people are coming into the pit lane. So there you go. And that was Alex Albon. But our straight line speed is seeing us through here. But we can see three wide up ahead as we go into turn one of lap two. We've caught right up to the back of Joe Guan Yu. But a good start of this race, up the 16th. In the pit window, and you're going to be on mediums. Well, we're going to have a lot of side-by-side -side action once again. Going into turn one. On lap three, we've got Joe Guan Yu having a look. Down the inside of Mick Schumacher. Decent exit from the corner, but... Just can't get that initial acceleration going. We are right in the slipstream of the German now. We are going to have a little look down the inside and we are through. We are past nice Mick Schumacher. I don't think we're going to be able to get into the slipstream this time like we did with Mick Schumacher We've managed to stay ahead at the moment, Alonso fighting with Zhou Guan Yu now side by side but no well some people coming into the pit lane Push now. bit of an early stop but we're coming into the pits this lap so I guess maybe not so much but Alonso following Zhou Guan Yu through side by side into turn one try and get a good exit try and get some ERS deployment but we're not going to manage it I'm afraid oh, well, now we've got underbody damage that's annoying don't really know how I don't know any curbs I've particularly took hard but it is what it is We go down the inside of Alonso through Parabolica. And now we're coming into the pit lane. We're getting our tyres changed. Look at the state of our car. We have uh, definitely been in the walls a little bit. A few little scrapes here and there. I don't particularly know what that's from. Oh, we're held up. Feel like we should flash back that. Give them another chance. Because we did come in ahead. We should be coming out ahead. Come on. Come on. Quicker this time. Yeah! <laughs> well, that was a little bit cheeky, I think, but... Uh... That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. I think we deserve it. Anyway, we're back down to 18th behind Albon, interestingly enough. So, because he's been in fresh air, he's actually managed to outdo us. I'll tell you what, Fernando Alonso, what an exit he's had. He's going to be ahead of us anyway. We're going to push him okay, the underbody's out wide a little damage. bit. Another bit of damage to the underbody, apparently. He's still there on our inside. We're going to give him the room. It's going to have a little look into the Les Moors. Caution, caution. We've got yellow flag up ahead. Alonso there around the outside. Is that going to cause a safety car? Okay, 
Okay, Nico's into the pits. I'm not Nico sure. In the pits. Now, will we have the likes of Hulkenberg overcutting us here? That's a big question. Here we come round the final corner. Where are we going to come out here? That's Hulkenberg leaving the pit lane now. So Hulkenberg has overcut us. As has Ocon. As have a load of other guys. So it has not worked out well for us, I'm afraid. And we're back down to 16th now. Seconds. Well, here comes Pierre Gasly. We had a tiny little bit of deployment remaining. We're going to try and hold it into the first corner. And we manage it just about. That will, <laughs> that will go down in the, the history books as one bold manoeuvre there. But, uh, yeah, our pace in this second stint just isn't good enough. Apologies about the, the cutting out once again. Seems particularly bad today. But nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Tip from turn one, but it's not going to happen. And now we are just going to drop back, you feel. Perhaps all the way to the rear. Well, there goes Daniel Ricciardo. Can we hold on to him? Oh, it's a big lock-up and he's off the track. Well, that's huge. Don't think there'll be a safety car for that. We've got Alonso Stroll and Ocon, I believe, behind. Or is it Latifi, maybe? battling it out and there goes Fernando going to play a little DRS trick on him and hopefully get him back on the straight although we've lost so much momentum there that I'm not sure it's going to happen but there goes DRS we have got the slipstream I'll tell you what we're going to have to go for this one so excellent defensive manoeuvre again big lock up from us but we work it round the outside what a move that was I want to see that one again on the replay let's have a look Alonso moves over in the, the breaking zone we have a big lock up we go round the outside and that was beautiful that was beautiful but now we got the Aston Martin and the Alpine in our slipstream and the two Haas cars as Stroll makes a, a lunge wow we had to back out of that we nearly lost our front wing we've got an Alpine or oh, is that a Haas on our inside I think it's an Alpine oh this is so close and now DRS is going to be active we do not want to finish last we definitely don't want to do that. But our true pace is definitely being shown up here. Oh, and now. All over the place through Ascari. And that has, I think, ruined any chance of finishing ahead of those two ahead. I'm not going to get back in that DRS okay, zone. We've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Contact. Contact with the Haas. Oh no! He's okay, gonna have DRS as well. Now then, Stroll and Alonso, they're side by side. We'll try and get a better exit, it's not gonna happen though. Strumacher's through. We're down to 20th and now Magnussen is there. Is he gonna have a look? 
is virtually pushing us along this straight. Trying to keep our foot to the floor, but Magnussen's through. Just haven't got the pace through these sections of the track anymore. Yeah, it's all gone. Down to 21st now. Charles Leclerc wins the Italian Grand Prix. Good for him. Well, I could have sworn we had two other warnings in this Grand Prix. Very lucky there. There's Daniel Ricciardo. He's having a look. I don't think he's going to make it, though. We come into the final corner through Parabolica and we end what has been a dismal Italian Grand Prix. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe, a world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. Charles Leclerc, currently leading the championship standings, extends his lead even further with this result. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Let's focus on driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, I certainly didn't have any complaints with Nico Hülkenberg's performance today. That was incredible driving. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend. who we pushed themselves further up the order. Well. That certainly was an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon. Well, there you go. If you needed proof there, the difficulty was about at the right level. I think we've just had it. Look at the look at the, how slow we were. 1.23.2 was our best time. Perhaps that underbody damage did affect us. You know, we were going pretty well until that point, but it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Uh, excellent display from Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen and George Russell. Nico Hülkenberg finishes a brilliant 12th. Just outside the points once again, Alex Albon. They're doing a good job as well. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.